Hey everyone, Nir here from the Developer Relations team at Neo4j. I'd like to introduce you to a project that I'm currently working on regarding the fake news epidemic which has plagued the internet in the last year. In the heat of all this confusion, the Pew Research Center conducted a study which found that two of three American adults are confused about even the most basic facts. And to put the severity of this issue into perspective, BuzzFeed ran an analysis on news shared across major social media outlets, and they found that in the final three months approaching the 2016 presidential elections, the top 20 fake news articles actually incited more Facebook activity than the top 20 real news articles, and those are coming from major news sources like the Washington Post and the New York Times. With so much misinformation in circulation, it's no wonder people are confused. There are more articles out there than there are people to validate them. And for this reason, the problem has caught the eyes of leaders of the tech community. People like Dean Palmerlew from Carnegie Mellon and Facebook's Jan LeCun, who are undoubtedly experts in the field of artificial intelligence, have come to the conclusion that the problem is too complicated for AI alone to solve. Palmerlew even went so far as to say that an algorithm which could distinguish with certainty between real and fake news would have reached human level intelligence. And unfortunately, we're not at that level yet. So then, if humans can't solve the problem because it's too large, and computers can't solve the problem because it's too complex and ambiguous, where does that leave us? Well, many believe that a solution lies somewhere in the middle. The artificial intelligence can be used as a means to automate and scale a lot of the parts of the human fact-checking process, but in the end, human judgment is needed to make a final decision. By scanning through thousands of news articles and identifying those which are potentially fake, fact-checkers can narrow their search to a much smaller, pre-filtered set of articles. And this will increase the number of fake articles that they can flag, and it will reduce the amount of time that a fake article is in circulation before it is quarantined and removed from the internet. After speaking to real-world fact-checkers to find out more about their process, Palmerlew found that detecting a bias is one of the most important elements that fact-checkers examine when investigating the validity of an article. So to get the ball rolling, he founded the Fake News Challenge, which prompted the AI community to create models which could detect such a bias between an article and a claim. The community responded at large and dozens of solutions were submitted, a lot with very good success. The idea is that by combining more algorithms like the one used to solve the stance detection problem, we can automate a substantial part of the fact-checking process and address the problem in a more scalable way. I believe, though, that the key to determining whether an article is real or fake requires a little bit more than just information about the article. It requires understanding the article's position within the context of the greater news realm. And for this, we're going to need a graph. For my project, I plan to do exactly that, to extract the relevant information needed to examine the article at depth, but then also to add context to the article's overall position within the world of the news. I'm going to do this by pipelining news articles through multiple machine learning algorithms to break them down and analyze the individual components that, that they possess, such as their origin, the claims they make, the topics that they discuss, etc. And then, by feeding those results into Neo4j's graph database, I'll be able to leverage the underlying relationships between the different articles, their social media entities, and the publications that publish them. And through this process, I'll be able to flag articles which are more likely to be misleading or fake, and those articles can be further assessed by human fact checkers. So for more information on my project, follow the link in the description which discusses an overview of the project in a little bit more detail, and look out for more videos just like this one, because I will continue to document my progress. Thanks everyone.